Hello, what's up everybody? My name is Carlos Betraga Pizan, RTRVI. Welcome back to my channel, Lazy Bones Radiology. In today's episode, I'll be covering positioning terminologies and body movements. But before we start, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to the channel. And share with your friends so we can all learn together. Let's begin! Like I said before, we as radiologic technologists are more than just button pushers. There's an art in the way that we work in our field. What I like to say is, we in the imaging department are the eyes of the medical field. So be proud. That's why positioning is one of the most important skills that makes you a better radiologic technologist. According to the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists and the Canadian Association of Medical Radiation Technology, positioning consists of knowing the anatomy and the specific adjustment to the body in order to capture a diagnosable image. Radiography is the process of recording an image of the body part using ionizing radiation. In radiography, there are four terms that are commonly used in positioning. Projection, position, view, and method. The following definitions were gathered from Merrill's Atlas of Radiographic Positioning and Procedures. This is a series that I used when I was a student, so I highly recommend it. Projections. This is the path of the central ray as it exits the x-ray tube and goes through the patient to the image receptor. In other words, projections are based on the anatomic position of the body in relation to the central ray or the x-ray tube. This is an example of a projection. Remember the anatomical relationship terms from episode 1? They are going to be used throughout this episode, so I hope you took good notes. Anterior-posterior or AP projection. By definition, this is when the central ray enters the anterior surface and exits through the posterior surface, as you can see here. In other words, this is when the x-rays travel from front to back of the body, but remember, use your proper anatomical terms. Posterior anterior, or PA projection. This is when the central ray enters the posterior surface and exits through the anterior surface, as we can see here. Remember to use your proper anatomical terms. Axial projection. By definition, this is a longitudinal angulation of the central ray with the long axis of the body or a specific body part. Axial refers to all projections in which the angulation of the central ray is 10 degrees or more from a perpendicular beam to the image receptor. As we can see here from a lateral view, this is an axial projection. Also, this is another one. Tangential projections. This is when the central ray is directed towards an outer margin of the curved body surface to profile a body part just under the surface and to project it free from superimposition. In this projection, the positioning of the body in the central ray must be exactly aligned in order to achieve a successful image. As we can see here with a superior view of the skull, and also a sideways picture of the tangential projection. This projection will be discussed in further detail when we get to the facial bones. Lateral projection. This is when the central ray enters one side of the body or body part and passes parallel to the coronal plane and exits on the opposite side or the contralateral side. One important thing to remember is to specify the body part that's closest to the image receptor or the side where the central ray exits. As we can see here on the right hand side, the central ray enters through the left side or the medial side and exits through the lateral side. The projection is named in relation to where the central ray enters. This is known as a medial lateral projection because it enters through the medial side and exits through the lateral side. And the opposite, if you go from lateral to medial, is known as a lateral medial projection. Oblique projections. This is when the central ray enters the body or the body part from a side angle which follows the oblique plane. Depending on where the central ray exits, the projection is named. If the central ray enters anterior and exits posterior, this is known as an AP oblique projection. If opposite direction of the central ray, it will be called a PA oblique projection. It is very important to remember that both lateral and oblique projections the patient is the one that moves. The central ray is perpendicular to the image receptor. The central ray does not move. True projection. This term is used to indicate the body part must be placed exactly in the anatomical position 
or the true projection. Remember what I told you, the anatomical position is very important. Next, position. There are two ways of looking at this term. It's used to identify the overall posture of the patient or the general body position. This refers to the specific placement of the body part in relation to the radiographic table or the image receptor during imaging. General body positions. Upright. This is when the patient stands erect or marked by a vertical position. Seated. This is an upright position in which the patient is sitting on a chair or stool. Recumbent. This is a general term referring to lying down in any position. For example, dorsal, ventral, and lateral. Supine. This is where you lie on your posterior or the back part of your body, also known as the dorsal recumbent. Prone. This is where you lie face down or the anterior side of the body is down, also known as the ventral recumbent. Next is a lateral recumbent. This is the position named according to the side where the patient is closest to the IR. So for example, here in my diagram, this is known as a right lateral position because the right side is down. Trendelenburg. This is supine position, but with the head tilted downward. Next is a Fowler position. This is a supine position where the head is higher than the feet. The way I remember this one, if you think of a sunflower, the head is always up. I know it's a silly way to remember, but that's how I remember it. Sims is a recumbent position with the patient lying on the left anterior side or a semi-prone position with the left leg extended and the right knee and thigh are partially flexed and bent. Luthotomy position is a supine position with the knees and hips flexed and the thighs are abducted and rotated externally supported by the knees or ankles. Next is a lateral position. This is a position always named according to the side that's closest to the IR. Oblique position is a radiographic position when the entire body or the body part is rotated so the coronal plane is not parallel with the table or IR. For example, this is a RAO, this is an LAO, or right anterior oblique, or left anterior oblique. Next is an RPO, which is a right posterior oblique, and LPO, which is a left posterior oblique. Decubitus is a position where the patient is lying down and the central ray is horizontal and parallel with the floor. There are three types of decubitus positions. The lateral decubitus, both right and left, the dorsal decubitus, and the ventral decubitus. Lordotic position, this is where a patient leans backwards while in the upright position, so only the shoulders touch the image receptor, as you can see here in my diagram. It is very important not to confuse these groups that we have just covered. Position is related to the patient body, movement or adjustment in relations to the image receptor. Projection is how the central ray is in relations to the body part. Also, the projection describes the path of the x-ray as they enter and exit through the body. And finally, position is the placement of the body. This is the way I think. The following is how I studied and made my notes while I was learning positioning and study for my registries. These are the first steps that I think about before I take an x-ray. But remember, this is my way. What are we examining? What position should the patient be to get an image? What anatomy of interest must be in profile? What projection will allow me to get this image? If you follow these basic steps, the more you'll be prepared and you'll understand how everything works together. When we get to the actual positioning part, this will all make more sense. Next is a view. The term view is used to describe the body part as seen through the image receptor. So the view is the general discussion of a finished radiograph or image. A little side note, view and projections are exact opposites. So if your projection is an AP projection, your view is a PA, and vice versa. Method. This is a recognition of an individual that developed a specific radiographic position to capture a specific anatomical part. For examples, water, town, and may. It is important to know both the standard anatomical position terminologies and the method name as well. Don't worry, I'll cover both names when we get to the specific x-ray 
position that has both names in the next series of videos for positioning. Body movements. Abduct or abduction is a movement of a part away from the central axis of the body or body part. As you can see here, the arm is moving away from the body. This is abduction. Adduct or adduction is the movement of a part towards the central axis of the body. So as your arm moves towards the body, this is known as adduction. Extension is the straightening of a joint when both elements of a joint are in an anatomical position or normal position of a joint. As you can see here, this is an extension. Next is a hyperextension, which is a force and excessive extension of a limb or joint. So this is an overextension of the actual limb itself. Next is a flexion, which is the act of bending a joint or the opposite of an extension. As you pull back the limb, this is known as a flexion. Hyperflexion is a force or overflexion of the limb. Evert or eversion is an outward turn of a foot at the ankle. As you can see here, the foot goes away. This is eversion. Invert or inversion is an inward turn of a foot at the ankle. So as you turn your foot inwards, this is invert. Do not get these confused. Pronate or pronation is a rotation of the forearm so that the palm is side down, as you can see here. Supinate is the opposite. This is a rotation of the forearm so that the palm is up. Rotate or rotation, this is turning or rotating of a body part or body around an axis. Circumduction is a circular movement of a limb, as you can see here. Tilt is a tipping or slanting of a body part slightly. Tilt is in relations to the long axis of a body. As you can see here, as the head tilts side to side, deviation is a turning away from a regular standard or course. Dorsal flex is a flexion or bending of the foot towards the leg. Plantar flexion is a flexion or bending of the foot downwards towards the sole of the foot. I know this seems like a lot of vocabulary, but remember, practice makes perfect. Practice, 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 and you'll get this in no time. It is very important that you understand all this terminology because they're going to be used throughout positioning. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel and share with your friends so we can all learn together. You can also follow me on Instagram at lazybones underscore radiology. Till next time.